Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man playthrough. It is time for the Blood Angels to do what they can do best, which is spill some blood. We got uh, the Blood Angels with a special guest. Divat is joining them for the first time. Well, it's the first time that we're seeing a Psy operative in action and boy oh boy, I would want to uh, see that. We got a lot of uh, resistance operatives including a, a new rookie that I would like to get my hands on. Let's go. Cool, so we got the typical jailbreak. Need to get here and need to get these guys out. So let's use the cry as our scout. Okay, uh, I really would like to get to that high ground. On the move. Got it. Moving. Go, go, go. And Diva. Stepping off. Okay. Eyes on. Let's hope these guys are moving here or here so that we can actually get to the high ground. No, they're not. Which means next turn is already going to be fight. Moving. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Uh, no. Good copy. We'll Moves to here. Overwatches. Now we don't need to use aid protocol yet. We're getting slightly closer to the objective and let's get that turret. Okay, that should not break concealment, right? Cool. No, 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 no. Look. Just a potent grenade. That's a lot of damage if you hit two. One of them dies from the cannon. Very good. No, not really. Okay, classical 89% miss chance. How much cooldown does Soulfire have? None? There is a certain appeal to simply ignoring cover. Uh oh, there's another pack in the background. There is another pack in the background. Good for once, 
four ones, uh, we have hit something. Opening the door. Still not seeing this guy. Okay. You know what? Why not? The cry could be our frontliner here. Try to get the sentry. Try has enough hit points to frontline. Overwatch is here. Picking up loot. Renvin. Free reload. I guess that'll be okay. And I want to move as close as possible. All right, these guys can go for the turret all day long. Let's get that officer. Good hit. I like it. We know there's another pack, so... I want to be careful not to trigger them. How much longer does the hack last? Uh, I think one more turn. Let's use the cry because Synapse has four points of cover, uh, f four points of ballistic, and everybody else is in full cover. Reload, Overwatch, Overwatch. That was our chance to hit them before anything happens. Yeah, go for the turret, please. Get me out of here, please. No longer a threat.
All right, the turret finally prevailed. Won't help him much because we will unfortunately need to kill him, but he did well overall. Revival protocol. And now it's time to engage with uh, these other friendly beings. Starting to get the turret down. You served as well. Continuing with the Sidewinder. couple of options here. Rolling. The prime moves up. taking flanking position high ground fortifying ourselves to make it more difficult for the enemy to do anything and that would be a great fit but we need to control the sidewinder for that can't let her be alive good panic this is good enough for me Fantastic hit. And I can tell you what we're going to do there. We're actually going to kill both of them, likely. Not 100%, but likely. to go about it is with area suppression because now they are moving because they have no cover and that will be their downfall not sure why the second one was not a kill we had enough ammunition Better shooting angles. Let's take the drone out. It's dead. It has to be dead. Oh, that pole prevents us from flanking. That's interesting. On the move. Enemies down. On reserves. Are we melee resistant? Yes, we do have the anti-melee trait. I can handle that. So I know that I'm opening myself up for the sector. Not too shabby. Cool, Negative. double core. Right, 
This here will block uh, the melee. The zombie and the zombie can only hit the a person that is completely immune to its shenanigans. Good. That'll be a two for one. I would have had a flashbang in case of doubt. Interesting, we're completely done. As in, no more enemies available. Running. I've got the thing. Getting it done. Good reinforcements are soon going to be inbound. Got something new. Will do. Seems doable. I guess that'll be okay. Rock and roll. Let's do this. Good, let's hope we have another round before reinforcements are coming. Yes, we do. Seems doable. Infiltrating their system. Oh, enemy protocol. Ooh. Permanent increase of hacking. Come on. Yes. That is fantastic. A Aaron, you absolute beast. That was great. Steadying weapon. Scanning. Ready to rock. Position confirmed. And now it's a matter of run, run, run. I like be going to face one more set of reinforcements. Maybe not even that. Maybe we're fast enough to just get everybody out of here before that happens. Whatever you say. Good to go. Is it clear? End of turn. Come get some. Multiple hostiles advancing in our Okay, position. maybe not. Well, who knows? We're almost out of here. Good. One more Overwatch trap. I'm on it. VIP that is confirmed. We secured a civilian contact. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. If you say so. On Overwatch. Good. Reinforcements.
That overall fight was good. I really like how that team worked together. And the Psy Operative is so much fun. Even with the very limited amount of abilities, the fact that he can ignore cover completely is just awesome. Oh, we had a hack, right? Wait, 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 wait. There was another hack right over here. On my way. All right, I'll go. No problem, boss. If we do have the time, might as well, might as well do that. Accessing system. Good. See? Ten supplies or whatnot. We're good to go. We are going to take it all. Leaving nothing behind. Very nice. Good mission overall. I like Psy Operatives and I like the idea that you now need to also train them in combat and it's not just a, you know what, sit sit down and train for an endgame type of deal. Chain shot here. And I begin to like Burnout a lot. That extra defense is great. Shredder isn't bad either, just to get rid of armor, but we do have a lot of armor penetrating rounds at the moment, so currently it's not a huge issue. A little bit of defense, that's good. Three Illyrium cores, holy. And some PC as well. I am wondering with the PC as well, which is whatever. Uh, we got Sane here who is tired and now that I don't want to replace combat awareness, but I was just wondering if that would make him untired. If we could switch and uh, swap them, that would be okay. So what do we want? 4 immunity, that sounds like a good idea. 14 days of training and what does the new uh, rookie bring to the table? Uh, good movement, good hit points, average uh, mind, that's fine. So I am seeing a new shinobi here. We need a lot more shinobis, just from the overall classes. Assaults, I think we're fine. Grandiers, we're fine. Well, we can use more uh, from all of the classes, don't get me wrong. Uh, I want more Psy Operatives, definitely. Um, more shinobis. Yeah, and the rest is okay for now. Good. Now that the Blood Angels were so, so, so successful, how about... We're having this nice little... Um, mission for you in Australia. What's wrong with the Blood Angels? Didn't we just have the Blood Angels on the mission? 
Oh yeah, together with the Psy, psy Operator. Never mind. Uh, but we're still going to take you guys and we're just going to add uh, whatever else is available. Sharpshooter uh, sounds like an awesome idea in that regard. Even with being in training, we could take a uh, we could take a psi operative. But I know out of experience that that um, that that creates a bug, and I'm not sure that they have removed uh, that bug um, whenever a psi operative uh, gets injured during a mission and they are in training. You can permanently lose a slot in the uh, in the psi facility. I don't know if um, if they have fix that bug but I am doubtful that they completely have. Let me um, figure this here out real quick. Okay there is something in the air means um, everybody needs to be careful not to get flanked elsewise this can end very very poorly. Um, rest looks fine the blood angels are back in business just infiltrate that or rather over infiltrate it. And we'll get a nice mission out of it. We got Vigilance 8 there, so that's still totally doable. In the meantime, here we do have Strength 7, Vigilance 16, so I should uh, do the Liberation mission faster. And we got some more rookies over here which should not be hiding but i want intel good that should give us more missions uh, are we ready for missions yes we generally are ready for missions setting course for sector 16 indonesia Okay, Sun Lancer for better melee weapons, experimental weapons later, faceless for chameleon suit, no longer mimic beacon. All of this is just resources and there you go, magnetic weapons. Or combat armor, either way is fine, but the chosen we have come to know as the ham based on its history with the Reaper faction seems to be the most the advent. Good, look, I need to get money right now, so we're either doing the smash and grab immediately or we're selling corpses. And given that the smash and grab is sort of ready, it's just one percent shy of uh, the next breakpoint. Oh wait, we got a new mission. So not the advent black side. Blood angels are infiltrating here. <clears throat> that one is too quick. <laughs> okay, that one we already had. Find a facility lead. Two little people are on um, Intel here. Which tells me I need to scan here in order to make it eight people instead of scanning there. But the Ultramarines now do have a smash and grab mission and we're down to 13 to 15. That's the other Psy operative and we have a good team. Skirmisher in here as well, cover removal uh, plenty. So let's uh, join that mission and get a couple of crates for us. 
I tell you what, we are right on the 30 minutes mark and I don't always want to do one, one and a half hour missions. This or Operation Morbid Fist that might take a little bit longer, I don't know. So we're going to end the episode here. Uh, we're going to see big action right when we're joining with the next episode. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy the content and if you like Psy Operatives, I'll leave a comment down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.